Uh, how's everyone doing today? Today's a Friday. I hope you're having a nice Friday today. Um, yeah, I had a freaking day, my friends. I had quite the day. I was out all day getting passport stuff taken care of. Um, just running all over the place, running all over town. <sighs> Where do I even begin, guys? Where do I even begin to talk about the past few days? Getting all this, getting everything ready. We're, we have a trip coming up, uh, heading down to the States. It's not like a cool, fun trip, uh, mind you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like a, a, a family kind of occasion sort of thing, which can be cool too, not going to lie. But uh, yeah, it's, um, going down to the States sometime soon. Not 100% sure when, but that was also why we had to kind of square away uh, my my passport and everything, get that done. I had to get a haircut, and it was like, oh, God. I get, so you guys don't know this about me because I'm a sloth on camera, but uh, behind the camera, I'm actually a, a real human being. And uh, I get a haircut maybe twice a year. Maybe, just maybe, twice a year. I get a haircut. Um, because I'm a, I'm a savage. <laughs> because, because I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like getting haircuts. I don't like going to... Even in the before times, I didn't really enjoy getting haircuts. Uh, here, let's get another... Let's get another one of these. Another... A short hair sloth. Yep. Yeah. I'm now a... Uh, a northern short-haired sloth. It's Carmi! How's it going, Carmi? Nice to see you here. How are you doing today? Happy Friday. Happy Fried Dizzle. It's just, uh, I was just sort of recounting my past few days. Got a haircut. And, uh, I feel weak, guys. I feel weak. Um, I think I might be, like, Samson. Is it, is it Dr. Samson in the Hulk comics? where like his power is tied to the length of his hair. I feel like that. I feel depowered. I don't feel as powerful anymore. Still feeling bad. It's a different kind of thing. It's a different kind of uh, <laughs> thing uh, today and, and, and possibly over the next few days. But yeah, I got a haircut. I feel weak. I have to, I have to look like a normal human being now instead of a shaggy uh, sloth monster because I had to get a passport uh, my passport done. I'm taking a trip to the good old U.S. of A. And you know, I had to get a passport picture, blah blah blah. I, I, I get my photo done at Walmart, okay? We went to Walmart, got my photo done there. And it's a big long story. <laughs> it's coming to see me. It's a big long story, but I was at the the uh, the passport agency, the 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 Canadian passport agency, practically all day today, guys. All day. Oh my god, it was so painful. I was it was so painful. Practically five six hours on my feet, standing up in line. And I don't know how they do it in the States, how you get your passport done there in, in the States, but the way they do it in Canada is you have to stand in line for, in my case, what felt like several hours, right? It was like, yeah, anywhere from five hours or something like that. And then they talk to you and they see if everything's okay. And they give you a number. And then you have to wait. Now you, you don't get to stand up anymore. Now you get to sit down and wait. <laughs> and it was excruciating just being in this line for that long. It was so painful. Yeah, I don't... Unfortunately, Carmi, I don't think I'll be coming down that way as far as, as the area that I'll be visiting. But, oh my god. It was so bad. And in the line... God, guys... Here, I need another drink. I need another drink before I get into this. Here it is. This is my that's like being at the DMV. Yeah, I've heard it's it's being like that, right? That's the where you get the DMV is where you get your driver's license. <laughs> it's 
So I'm in the line. It's it's shitty enough already, alright? Suddenly I start hearing this conversation. You can't help it. Most people tend to keep themselves they're sort of plucking away at their phones on the internet, blah blah blah. But I start to pick up on this conversation between two people. They don't know each other, but they're talking. This one lady is going off on conspiracy theories and all of this shit. Can you believe it? It was so... It was... Oh, God. It was painful. It was so painful. Because I didn't have earphones. I didn't have earphones. I didn't have earphones and didn't have head headphones. And I'm listening to this lady go off on 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 coronaviruses it's all a, it's all fake it's not real it's engineered and then this guy she's talking to this guy it's older older dude and this guy is just kind of politely having a conversation with her Car exactly big time derpin he's he's very polite and very patient and he's just kind of asking her questions about about all these things that she believes in right and He's being very respectful about it, but they're having this conversation and she's just going on and on. I can't help but hear all this bullshit that she's talking about. And then, uh, and then, okay, okay. First of all, she goes, she starts saying, she starts talking about, um, if you do your research, She's like, all you have to do is just do your research, and then you'll find out that all of this is fake, that it's not real. And, and you know, she's saying, like, Fox News, blah, blah, blah. She was, <laughs> it was so bad. But she was like, all you have to do is just do your research, and you'll know that this was engineered in a lab, blah, 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 blah. And I was dying inside. I was, I was, I was, I was just, I was in pain. I was wilting. I was perishing on sight. And again, this guy, Fox News, <laughs> this guy is very patient, just listening to her, having a conversation. Um, but then, somehow, the conversation dovetails into all the other things, all the other things, all the other conspiracy nut things. Because then I hear the guy say, so you're saying you didn't believe 9-11 happened? And I was like, oh, God, no, please, no. And again, she's like, all you have to do is just look up your research. Just find out. It's all there on the Internet. Just do your research because I did my research. And, and, and man, you name it. I wouldn't be surprised if she was talking about hollow earth, blah, 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 like all of that bullshit. It was painful. It's shoot, exactly. <laughs> That's when I slap a hoe. And see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. That guy was really, really patient and 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 kind of just, just, just kind of going with her responses and just asking her questions. Very respectful, right? And and Carmi's got her. That's when I slap a hoe. <laughs> For me, this would have been a non-starter. This would have been like the second that she starts going off on this shit, right? The s I'm, I'm not saying, she didn't talk about Hollow Earth, but I'm just saying she was she was close. She was very, very close to talking about that. If, if we were already on the route of 9-11 of, 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 uh, of didn't happen. If it was me and she started to, she started to get into all this shit, I would be like, that's it, sorry, not interested. You know, I would just cut her off, and like the second she starts talking about the, about, about this, that, and the th and the other thing, I'd be like, sorry, that's that's it. I'm not here to talk about this. I'm here to get my passport. Please, uh, please just leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? That is it. We are done. You know, and um, oh, I see Bacon is here. What's up, Bacon? Nice to see you here. How you doing today, sir? Hope you're doing well. It is a late stream today, just because I I had to do something. I had to, I had to take the day for myself. I had to do something for myself today. I had to take something of today and uh, and make it my own. <laughs> Me and this fades into a shrub. Yeah, actually, my brother was like, he was like, this is that's exactly when I'd be like, Homer Simpson. Um, no, no, Grandpa Simpson, going into that like strip club and then just seeing Bart and then immediately turning around that's that's what my, 
Yeah, exactly. Night trap. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god, it was excruciating. And you know what? She was weak, guys. That's the other thing. She was weak. She was weak. You know why? Because here's the thing. Uh, we arrived at the at the uh, at the passport office in what I thought was a reasonable amount of time. We were there at the afternoon, and even then, even then at the afternoon, she was uh, the guy in charge of the line was like, "Just so you know, we're at a point today where we don't know if we'll be able to see you today. It's you know you can stay and 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 try and gut it out." But we're not 100% sure if we're going to be seeing you today because it's just there's just too many people right now and we're we're moving really really slow. But so we were like shit, you know, we're we're from out of town. We gotta try. We have to at least try because we're from out of town. It's like a 40 minute drive. So we're gonna gut it out. And it didn't take long for people to start falling off. It was like a it was like a survival game. <laughs> it was like a survival game where people start start fading away. And yeah, sure enough, there was a handful of people that just that just dropped out of the line. And I was like, you're weak. In the back of my mind, I'm like, ha ha, you're weak. But also, that worked out really, really good for us. Because the lady, the, the, the conspiracy nut lady. Oh no, we are committed, exactly. <laughs> Carmi, so no slapping, I could have just pushed her over. <laughs> the re so she left. She left. After a while, she was like, she was just like, I can't take this anymore. It's just the line is too long. I have to go, right? Like, whatever, you're weak. <laughs> but every single person that left, every single person that left was crucial, crucial for, in order for us, me and my brother, uh, to be seen and have a, and to have an audience, <laughs> to 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 get our shit done, because basically we went right up to closing time, uh, within the within ten minutes of closing time. That's when I finally got called up. Right then and there. So I mean, had there been that many people left, like like the two. Sorry, like the three to four people that had dropped out, had they remained, including conspiracy nut lady, I would have been done. Like, I would have been you would I wouldn't be streaming today because I, I would just be so upset because we had been in line since the afternoon, like twelve o'clock all the way up to like four or five o'clock, and to, uh, for to be in line that long and to, and then to get turned away. <sighs> that would have been something. Guess she did her research. Exactly. <laughs> Got him. Got him. I guess you didn't do your research. Yeah, it was painful, guys. It was a painful day today. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think. I think. I think that's one of my mutant abilities. Is just to is just to stick it out until the bitter end. I think uh, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> and all those people that leave. I mean, they, so, hey, some people have commitments. Some people have other stuff to do. They got to pick up their kids. I mean, I got nothing else to do, so it's all good. I'm there. I felt really, really bad for this this tiny, tiny Filipino lady behind us. And she was explaining that she was here yesterday as well. She had been there at the passport office for you know however long probably around the same time all day uh, yesterday and then she came back to get it all filled out again today because they turned her they turned her away yesterday so she had to come back today and she's behind us she's behind us and remember that like by the time we were seen it was about they were 10 minutes to closing time just about right by the time I was done, it was about 10 minutes to closing time. But it, I, I, I was asking, like, gee, I wonder if, she, if, if everything turned out okay for her. And my, my mom actually said, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw her. And she, she, did, she did get through. I was like, oh, that's good. That's good. Good for her. Good for her. I don't care so much for the weird conspiracy nut lady. But, yeah. 
Yeah, bacon. It was it was uh the line, the wait was just about five hours or so. And it was it was bad. It was bad. But I mean <laughs> it's not even over yet, guys. That's the thing. That's the shittiest thing about it. <laughs> okay, so okay, so uh we get to this we get to the place. Uh little chook. I'm the same, I'll go down with the sinking ship. <laughs> Here's there to the bitter end. Carmi lays like, this place doesn't exist. I don't believe in passports. I'm going to simply just cross the border. <laughs> I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go where I go, where I want to go. I'll travel the hollow earth system. The tunnels of the hollow earth. Let me get another one of these. Let's get some more of this. So we arrive there, and the security guard guy is like, again, as I said, he's like, just so you know, guys, uh, it's not a guaranteed thing that you're going to be seen today. Um, already, it's just a very slow-moving line processing. It's uh, it's it's going to be slow, so so I can't guarantee anything, right? Meanwhile, he sees my um, he sees this. <laughs> I have all my. I have all my passport information. My these are very important documents. How do you guys store your important documents? Do you put them in like a cool Manila envelope? Do you keep them in a cool plastic case? I was looking for something. I found this is the only thing I found. Twelve free Warhammer PC games. White Dwarf issue four hundred and sixty-two. Code inside White Dwarf. Vermintide two. Twelve free games. Warhammer. Under Underworlds Online, Dawn of War, Dominion, Talisman, Warhammer Quest 2. This is... <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, hell yeah. The Eldar. This is my uh, this is my army, guys. It's probably this dude is a Chad. So, so he's looking at our forms. I have a clear protective sleeve. But yeah, see, a clear protective sleeve, that's classy. That's very classy of you, Carmi. This is what I had. This right here. He sees this and he's like, "Oh yeah, Warhammer, right on." I'm a, I'm a bit of a Warhammer nut myself. This guy was old too. He was like, he was like in his sixties probably, right? It's an older guy, and he was like, "I'm a uh, I'm really into Warhammer too." He was like, he took this in his hands and he kind of looked at it and admired it. Anyways, we're in line. Uh, the whole shebang about being in line, blah, blah, blah. I finally get to the counter, and the lady... Oh, my God, guys. I need another sip. I need another one of these. I need another one. I need another one. This is what we're having again today, guys, if you didn't see. Milk stout, brown cow, beer. From Ottawa. I'm seeing the lady at the counter. She's processing my information. She looks at my photo. She looks at my photo and she says, Oh, I don't think I can use it. I don't think I can use this photo. Oh, no. I, it's, it's having, we're having problems. You're going to have to get another photo. Uh, what, how is it the beer? Yeah, so it's chocolate espresso, smooth and creamy. It's actually quite good, Carmi. It's actually really, really good. Shake and pour, nitro infused. Please keep refrigerated. Uh, from Ottawa, uh, Calaboogi Brewing. Quite nice. She's like, oh, sorry, it's not gonna work out. I was like, why? Um, what's the issue here? Right? There's some glare. There's a bit of glare on your forehead. And I just turned into a black and white illustration. <laughs> I just faded away into a black and white illustration like an anime. Just like, pshh. It's like, yeah, there's a problem with the system. If there's, if there's a lot of glare, it's just not really gonna work out with the system. You, you can see here, right here on your forehead. Here, we'll use this as an example. It's like, you see right here on your forehead, it's just really shiny. Your T-zone be showing? What's a T-zone? Uh-oh, is Lil Chooks teaching me new words? It's a little, little shiny here on your forehead. <laughs> Hold on, what's the T-zone? 
<laughs> I'm learning new words. See, Chuk was saying that she doesn't know what the youth what the youth are saying. But this is my first time being exposed to the T zone. It's a skincare term, forehead, nose. And oh shit! There you go. A little, a little, a little. Uh, see that? See the girls, the ladies, the ladies were. They were immediately. They formed a, a connection. They they realized what it was about. I guess so. And so, yesterday I was at Walmart getting my passport photo, and it was a big rush, guys. Like um. Um, it's we're kind of uh, we're kind of in a rush to get everything done uh, to get our passports done um, uh, for family reasons we have to get down to the states and so I'm like ah, 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 gotta get all this stuff ready gotta that's where it gets oily the most the zone holy shit I you know what you're right I guess so yes the T zone now I know now I know it's common for people to have shiny oil. The zone, the T zone. Yeah, my T zone was mad, shiny and and and, uh, and greasy, <laughs> I guess. So you know, I'm getting ready. I've got this. I, at first, I wore a hoodie, and then my brother's like, "You can't wear a hoodie. You can't wear dark clothes. You have to wear bush colorful clothing when you take a a, a a passport photo." I'm like, "Fuck, fuck, <laughs> I'm in a rush." So I just I threw that off. I put I found the biggest, brightest red, most obnoxious. Um, flannel shirt. I just, I just tossed that on. It was, it was so, it was so, um, it was so, it was so thick that I'm sweating bullets here. I have a winter coat on, sweating even more bullets. I, sh I got a haircut, so, so I don't have my long majestic locks anymore. I feel I'm in my weakened state, so I gotta wear a hat. The hat is making me extra hot. We get down to Walmart, and and I gotta suddenly take all this stuff off to take my photo. And we're on again. We're kind of rushing. It's a big crazy thing getting all this stuff ready. Um, the lady takes my photo, and I'm in my T zone. My T zone is showing. My T zone is 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 there for all to see. My T zone is is just is just laid bare. We are teaching you new things like Glizzy. Yeah, there you go, Carmi. Educational channel here. Yes, edutainment. That's what we're trying to go for here, edutainment. And so the lady's like, yeah, you're. I'm sorry. We can't use this photo. It's just too much glare. It doesn't really work with our system. Your T-zone is just, it's just, it's just off the charts. Your T-meter. <laughs> But there's a but there's a photo place in this in this plaza and they're very very good and you can go there and if you're if you're fast enough Ashwin how long have we known each other uh since 2000 and seven no it was even before that uh yeah go ahead and send the info I actually got this all processed already I had to I actually asked a a, a buck our friend in common buck so so they're like I can process your info it's all fine but you got to take this photo and bring it in Monday you can come in Monday just just bring in that photo and then we'll get your stuff done um, but if you're fast enough you can hand it in like right now you can hand it in like right now if you're fast enough before we close we close at four o'clock on the dot you know like no exceptions okay four o'clock that's your deadline we i've got i've got maybe 15 minutes to get all this shit done right so we're done i'm done with the i'm done with 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 the passport stuff done with the line i leave there's the security guard guy the same security guard guy and i'm like i i wave this back at him i'm like for the emperor i'm like hey man for the emperor he's like right on brother right on for the Emperor Warhammer, right? Because, you know, we had a little connection there. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, we're not really going to make it, though. It's fine. It's fine. We'll come back Monday. I find the plaza. I get into the plaza. I get my photo, right? The lady there is having small chat with me. She's like, you know, she's like, oh, yeah, we get. I was like, lady, I got to get a photo done. And I want to get it done, like, right now. I got to get back to the place and, and hand this in, right? She's like, oh, yeah, you know, we get a lot of people from Walmart and Shoppers Drug Mart. And there's always something wrong with their photos. We get a lot of that. You know, this is a, a more professional. I'm like, yes, 
that's I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually no see I'm making it sound like I'm a, I'm a jerk I was like I was kind of just nodding my head and in my mind I'm like yes yes excellent small talk but they're closing at four I gotta get this done <laughs> ladies stop it's like she's like an NPC she's like an NPC in an RPG I'm just like mashing skip <laughs> And uh, and we get it done. So the photo's done. My T zone is has been is is immaculate. <laughs> I gotta have another one of these. I gotta have another one of these. My T zone is immaculate. The photo's done. It's taking. It it took a good long while, guys. It took. I mean, well, the the photo was quick. The photo was <laughs> immaculate. The photo was fine. Like it it actually. She she did it as fast as possible, and again in the back of my mind I'm like it's you know what it's over it's already like it's already like three fifty nine it's done you know it's it's over game over right I'm walking very casually over to my brother and my mom I'm like hey we're done it's done you know today is over the big long arduous day is over and my brother's like run just run over there run over there and see if you can still get it done I'm like. I'm like okay and I'm running I'm running I'm running I'm running I'm running I'm running outside of, into the, I'm running in the plaza and then outside of the plaza around the block back to the to the uh, to the passport place and it's locked it's locked and there's the guy there's my homie there's my Warhammer bro my Warhammer bro is the security guy and he's behind the door and he's like I can't really see him all that well but he's already shaking his head like nah Nah, it can't happen. Sorry, man. It, it's not a... It can't make it happen, man. And he opens the door to let someone out. And I turn... I, I'm like, hey. Hey, man. Like, I just got to hand this photo in. Like, I, I just got to hand this photo in. Can I? And he's like, sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Can't make it happen. It's, I, it's nothing I can do. We're closed. All the computers are... are are shut down sorry and i was like for the emperor come on man for the emperor aren't we like didn't we establish a, a rapport for the emperor warhammer it was it was no good it was no good and i was so upset guys i was so upset i was so pissed off um but not because this is the this is the key you're late to the party, buddy. <laughs> it's so messed up. Here's the thing, guys. I wasn't annoyed. Here, you guys can look at this while we're chatting. I wasn't annoyed that that I didn't get in. I didn't get to hand it in. Because I, in my mind, I was already kind of... I was resigned to my fate about that, right? That we'd have to come back on Monday, right? I was more annoyed with the fact that I had to run. Don't make me run. Don't make me run for no reason. The only reason I'll ever run is if I'm running towards a really good deal or I'm running to save my life. Those are the only two acceptable reasons that I'll run. I'll run towards amazing deals yeah, I don't run for anybody, dude. Yeah, <laughs> my my brother's like, run, run. What's up, Johnson? Yeah, see, Johnson, Johnson knows. What's up, Johnson? How you doing? Run into my open arms. I might run into Carmi's open arms. I, 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 you know, up, up to de up for a debate here. That was an awkward drive back. I <laughs> this guy, this guy made me run. Night trap made me run. And I was I was more upset about that than anything else. I was like, yes, yes, we didn't get to hand that shit on time. That sucks. We'll have to go back. We'll have to go back. But I mean, at the very least, at the very least, uh, I didn't have to run. But yes, I did have to run. There it is, guys. How you doing, Johnson? And the the cherry on top, the cherry on top of all this, guys. What a wild day! I mean, 
it's definitely a day and there's I think there's more wild days ahead in the next few days but we'll we'll see we'll see anyways what a day what a day that's why I had to crack open this brewski that's why I had to crack open this this milk stout brown cow let's get another one of these I was all today Johnson it was my eventful day today don't make me run guys I swear to God you can you can coerce me to do a great many things don't make me run don't don't make me run <laughs> 